I come from a very secluded background. I was born in Vietnam in a really small town where everyone knew each other. It was a really rural town separated from everything else. Um, and I moved to the United States when I was nine. We settled in a kind of like a, a rural suburban place in the city of Columbia. It's like 30 minutes outside, so like the outskirts of the city. Since then, and um, before coming to BU, I, I really didn't have a lot of exposure to different cultures or, or places uh, besides Vietnam and, and what I knew when I settled in, uh, in South Carolina. My parents are always busy with work most of the time, so uh, a lot of my childhood consisted of just like school and home. And I really didn't participate in youth programs or after school activities until high school when I could drive. Uh, my family doesn't really travel and the people around me were, were very American. Um, after moving here to the United States, I, I didn't have a lot of experiences that, that most people here at BU um, had coming in. Um, at school, before coming to BU, it was like 90%, 98% American. So. You can see that my, my background is very different from uh, from the Boston environment and, and everyone here on campus. Um, every Everyone, a lot of people here at BU that I've met um, have very diverse backgrounds, uh, which is very different from how I grew up. I experienced a little taste of, of my life in the past four years when, when I took a, a trip to Boston for the first time, and it was for the Kilachan Open House. Um, I remember it was April 26, 2018 that I went here um, and it was snowing. I went with my little brother and snowing here after living four years isn't really that interesting but at the time I was really in awe because uh, we don't get a lot of snow in South Carolina and uh, especially not in April and I certainly didn't get any snow when I was in Vietnam. So in that trip, during that trip, I spent most of the time just exploring the city with my brother and the, the experience was great. Um, it motivated me to come out of my comfort zone um, and just being in the big city just made me feel like um, powerful, right? It made me feel like I could do more and it actually motivated me to speak at my graduation. Uh, I have stage fright and I'm not a great speaker so um, I never thought about speaking at graduation before the trip but, but something about the big city made me feel like, you know, I could do this, right? So I was ready to embrace change and I stepped out of my comfort zone. I submitted a speech um, and it, it got accepted. And in the speech, I emphasized how different my life would be relocating to a big city a thousand miles away from home. I recalled how life is so much faster in the city and how the skyscrapers make you ponder about what you could be. And I knew that I changed drastically going to school here. And, uh, and I did, I changed a lot. I've experienced the most change in the past four years, um, personally. I've developed a more open mindset. I'm willing to go out of my comfort zone more and, and try new things. And I feel more confident than I've ever been. And uh, I think Killer Chan played a huge part in it. But my, my evolution and my change didn't start so smoothly uh, at BU uh, in Killer Chan. I felt lost during my first year in Kilichan. It started with the Kilichan open house. Touring the city with my brother was great. I actually could see myself thriving in the city, but, but when it came to actually attending the reception, I felt like I didn't belong. Everything happened here in the common room. It was, it was really packed. It was all fancy and formal. We were even served formal meeting food like cheese and, and grapes and salami. And every student had brought their parents, and the parents talked to other parents. And then there was me, I just sat in the corner. I was the unsociable person at a party where I didn't know anyone. And the feeling of alienation continued throughout my first year. I didn't connect well with other Kilichan kids, as most of them had different backgrounds compared to mine. And of course, I was a little scared kid in a very unfamiliar and big environment, so it was really hard for me to, to find my common ground. In the Kilichan classes, I immediately knew that I didn't have the mindset like everyone else. Um, in every class, we discussed very complex topics like 
urban youth in the Middle East and housing policy in the United States, climate change and the Yemen humanitarian crisis. And everyone around me had very strong opinions. Like my alienated time at the Killer Chan open house reception, I, I just sat and listened during the class discussions. I prepared something in my head ahead of time for when it was my turn so I could get the participation credit. But I was not actively participating. I felt dominated by everyone else. And this is in contrast to my other engineering classes where I felt more confident and, and I was able to speak more in topics that I was more comfortable with. But my, my Kelly Chan classmates were so passionate. Their voices were so loud in their discussions and, and their thoughts were so adamant. And I didn't have any of that. I thought these, these were the people that were, that were gonna change the world. But I just couldn't sit around and debate about a topic over and over without ever reaching a, a robust solution. But I understand that someone has to do it. It just, it just wasn't me. So I, I wanted to drop Kelly Chan many times actually. I wanted to take more classes relating to my major, and I wanted to spend more time doing something that I was more interested in. It didn't help when a lot of my friends that I had made in freshman year either moved to a different college or, or dropped out of Kilachan as well. But I continued with Kilachan because I knew that the classes would force me to learn topics that I would never go out to learn on my own. And as time went on, I began to appreciate these classes more and more. They proved to be critical in my um, character development. These classes taught me important social topics that I would not think about otherwise. For example, children in the United States suffer growing up because of inadequate housing. And it's something that I think we take, a lot of us take for granted. But uh, adequate housing is a necessity that a lot, that a lot of us um, don't have access to. And each seminar class taught me a different perspective about the world. Climate change made me understand how resilient yet vulnerable Earth really is. That class inspired me to think about my lifestyle in a sustainable perspective. I actually did not eat red meat for, for like two weeks after learning about methane emissions. The 2020 presidential election class taught me to become an active citizen, not only in the political sense, but also to be aware of current events and, and actively participate in social causes. Classes convinced me to vote, and it's something I always thought I would never do. Um, I always had the impression that, you know, my vote didn't matter. And when you're living in the state of South Carolina, it, it really didn't matter. But the class motivated me to, to vote, and it's, it's the first step in becoming a lifelong responsible citizen. The class also convinced me to, to reflect on the Black Lives Matter movement um, on my own. Um, in, in my reflection, I actually tie my thoughts to, to my, my learnings in, in a prior collection class, which, uh, which was housing policy, where we discuss about systemic hurdles that a lot of people have to go through to be able to uh, move between socioeconomic classes. And I, I usually don't participate in such um, social causes, um, but I was really astounded that I spent the time reflecting on it. And, it was really an indicator of, of a change for me, and that completely stemmed out of, uh, of Kilachan classes. Again, each class opened my eyes to a new perspective and convinced me to do something out of my comfort zone. They pushed me to think critically and, and strive for change. I developed a more open mindset because of these classes, and I've also developed more confidence. By junior year, I was, I was really actively involved in many Kilachan class discussions. I was brave enough to share my thoughts on Trump um, during a team discussion in the in the election class, actually. And it's something I, I don't think I would ever do it, given other circumstances. In my senior year seminar class, I even stood in front of everyone and read a, a children's book. And I don't think I would be able to do that a few years prior. Besides these classes, the, the people I met in Kilachan also contribute greatly to my my development. My freshman year roommate always motivated me to try new things on campus, especially when I first got to BU. I joined the BU Rocket Propulsion Group because of him and um, and I actually met a lot of people and um, we actually built and launched a rocket together. And because of that, I went out and seek um, other opportunities where I can participate in a team and build tangible projects. And that's when I found the BU Hack for Impact Club where I felt like I truly found my place on campus. And it was through, you know, trying new things 
the the, the other people in Killer Chan also encouraged me to do more things. Um, and, and I think that's really integral to my current mindset now. Just do more and, and try more things. Being a part of Killer Chan and living in, in the Killer Chan dorm freshman year also introduced me to Bay State Row and, and the river. Um, for some reason, Bay State Row is very special to me. It's my it's still my favorite place on campus. and. I don't see it often anymore nowadays, but I still get nostalgic every time I go there. There's something about that place that makes me feel sentimental every time I'm there. I guess it's the trees along the sidewalks. It's always warm, yellow and orange in the fall, and exuberantly green in the spring. Maybe I get attached to it because I spent most of my stressful days there. The Esplanade is also one of my favorites. I used to go to the river all the time to just think about life and de-stress. Water is very calming, I realize. So after four years at BU and in Killer Chan, I think it's, it's one of my best decisions to stick with Killer Chan. Um, if I were to restart my time at BU, I would definitely do Killer Chan again. I wish I had started with the mindset I have now though, because I. I started very slow, I, I didn't like change, I didn't like most of the people around me, I didn't like my classes. But um, but slowly though, the classes, the people, everything else around me changed who I am for the better. Without Kelly Chan, I'm sure I wouldn't be as open-minded. I wouldn't think of relevant and important social causes around me. I wouldn't think of global problems. I'd be a very narrow-minded person. Kelly Chan was a special experience that opened my mind up to the world. Engineering was great because I've developed a special skill set, but Killer Chan made me a better person.